As we talk about average today, this is lesson 50. We're going to be talking about what it takes to divide things into equal groups. That's going to be our key for today. So if we look right away at what we've got, we have two sets of paper clips. One of them has five paper clips. The other has three, six, nine paper clips. So all together, we have 14 paper clips. So if I were to put them all together, and then if I wanted to divide them into two equal groups, I would know that I had 14 total, so I would take them and divide them into two groups of seven. This is the concept of finding average illustrated using simple paper clips and dividing into equal groups our total number. As we move into talking about finding average on the board here, it's going to be exactly like when we divide it into equal groups using the paper clips. Except in this case, we have three glasses of liquid. They have four, seven, and seven ounces. In order to divide the liquid equally between the three glasses, we need to find the total and divide by the number of groups that we want to divide it into. So when I find the total, or the sum, I have four plus seven plus seven, which is 18 total ounces. If I take that 18 and I divide it into three groups, because there's three glasses, I find that there should be six ounces in each glass. That's our first example of how to find average by dividing into equal groups, this case three. In example two, we're going to be talking about Brad's test scores. This is a particularly useful skill for you as you get up in your years and you'll start to have multiple tests you may need to find your average of your test scores sometime. And so his test scores were 80, 85, 90, 85, and 90. So we're going to find the average. The first step is to find the sum. When we add 80 plus 85 plus 90 plus 85, plus 90, we get a total of 430. The second step in finding the average is to divide into equal parts. The number of equal parts is determined by the total number of scores. So in this case, we're going to divide into five parts. When we take 430, and divide by 5, we end up getting an average of 86 per test. So finding the average is finding the sum and dividing it into equal parts, as determined by the number of things that you added together. Thanks for watching. I'm Mr. Saris. We'll see you next time.